everybody. Sam back in the studio here. Um, I got my pedal board hooked up here. I have a couple of different guitars I'll switch through and just want to, again, just keep demoing, giving people opportunity to uh, hear some gear. Just so that you know, <clears throat> right now I have the Kemper going straight into Pro Tools, not using fancy preamps or anything like that to warm in the sound. This is exactly what you get out of the back of the Kemper. And again, the point of it is to give you a recorded sound like as if you were plugged into an amp and running, running recorded into Pro Tools or whatever your recording source is. Um, let's see. So... sound so I can hear it. Um, this is on the Chief. Dirty is the name of this patch. And I wanted to again just run through a little bit here what all you can do on the Kemper profiling amplifier here. So uh, I'm going to turn the gain down a little bit so you have just like you would on an amp the, uh, the gain comes down. it up just like you would on an amp. Um, the reverb on this is great. I'm going to dial back to a little bit of a clean sound, roll some of the bass off. I'm going to go even cleaner. I'm going to just see what the reverb sounds like on this particular patch. And I'm just messing with the time and the reverb mix on here. Oh, we're getting a little bit more tail on there. Very nice tails to all of the reverbs. I've been super impressed with that. And let's look at some of the other effects just built in here. Here you have uh, stomps, which you can do different types of stomp boxes and they have a plethora of, of uh, effects built right in there. Some really impressive ones. Um, you have easy to get to delay. It says delay right here and you have a tap button so you can do if you're used to doing tap. Wow. If you're used to using uh, tapping out to a song. Let's see. So this is one of the delays just built right into the Kemper here. So a lot of, again, space and very warm um, as it disappears. So I'm going to turn the delay off. And just to kind of compare back and forth, I'm going to turn on my Dryman just so you can hear uh, what, what that sounds like. Let's see. So you can you can kind of hear the differences between like uh, a, a pedal that I have plugged in and running into the Kemper still acts like an amp, um, or the Kemper's own um, delay, or you can glue two delays together, or whatever your heart desires. Um, I have a distortion pedal uh, plugged in here too. Let's see what uh, a distortion on top of um, the Kemper. Uh <laughs> Oh, still have the uh, El Cap the Stan Strymon pedal on. Bypass that. So that is a uh, TC Electronics Dark Matter is the name of the pedal that I was just um, using there. What else? And again, browsing through um, their built-in presets. Uh, this one's called Bad Kitty Gain Drive. Um, 
I'm going to load it in. It, it loads really quick. You can go on and on with this thing. I've already been writing songs. Uh... So many different cool sounds. It's like every flipping through every one is just uh, more, more than any other um, processor type device that um, I've, I've played with before. Again, and I'm just on one guitar here, um, and uh, you switch guitars, you get a whole and combo and combinations. Um, that one's called '69 uh, Speed Liquor. <laughs> I should uh, say I'm not a shredder. I wish I was. My brother's a shredder. He plays, he can uh, up and down the neck, but I've never been uh, super fast fingers. So um, I'm sure this would sound really good if someone could lick up and down the neck uh, on this, uh, on this uh, delay already kind of built into this patch, but you could put it off and on. Uh. keep moving on here and um, I could go on and on uh, I was using this one the other day it's called Beat Boy I don't even know what this is based off of but if I load it in um, uh, and again up here we have stop boxes so let's say I want to choose a stop box I just uh, press on it hold down and um, I can use type to scroll through here it's color uh, cord color coded coordinated um, so um, I'm just going to scroll through here. Again, they have a whole bunch of built-in effects, and all of them are super usable. Uh, we'll just, uh, let's say, do a tremolo. And you can control the rate of it. Uh, effects and sounds in here. I can't um, say enough again how uh, great it is to play around and try different combinations on this thing. Um, and we'll exit and go back to uh, um, pick a sound here. Um, Queen is in the title of one of them. You can guess what that's going to sound like. Country Mile. Um, uh, one of them's uh, Cheryl C. Cheryl Crow. I'll load that one in the first time I heard this. Uh, you see where they got that from. Um, let's see. It goes on and on and on. Uh, this one's called Keith. Huh? I wonder uh, who that's. Uh that's modeled after. Um, some of them do have uh, effects kind of matched with the, the tone. And then some of them, like this one goes GT75 Scream, Crunch, Crunch 2, Clean. Um, so a bunch of them, here's a JVM with two mics, JVM with a 57. Sometimes in the title it tells you what microphone they're using um, on there. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Um, I have a little track that I'll uh, jam on for a second here. Let me see, what, what would sound uh, good on this track? Um, I do have uh, a couple amps that I profiled myself in here. Um, not a lot yet, but I profiled my Top Hat amp and my uh, Morgan AC20. Although there was already a Morgan AC20. Oh, and we had some guys bring over amps. And a buddy of mine, Jeremy, brought in a really cool uh, vintage uh, Marshall amp, and we profiled it. So if I load it in, here is Jeremy's uh, JPM 79 with the amp distortion. His amp's not here, physically. 
here um, in the box. And actually, this might sound good on my little track here. So I might just jam out a little bit more uh, on this track. Um, again, different guitars with different combinations on the Kemper. I can't say enough. So many cool sounds and ideas I've just gotten. Very easy to get good tones quickly. So for a recording engineer, it's been a great tool. A couple weeks ago, just did a cover band, came in and did four songs. And they were doing a cover song that was uh, from the 80s and had some 80s chorus on it. Super easy to pull up a sound that, that worked and matched with this. Um, and then they jumped over to a big ballad rock song. You know, no brainer. It was really easy to flip through and find what I needed quickly and get a great sound that they were um, happy with. So, okay, I'm going to jump backwards. These are some drums that uh, Gooch uh, came in the studio, and that's another YouTube video that you can see. So I'm just jamming over a track, Gooch on drums, recorded here. I laid down a quick bass and kind of rhythm track and kind of played out with, uh, with the, the little backing track. See if I can do this without hitting too many wrong notes here.